Well, we're seeing a couple of signs of an increase in tourism. We're seeing an increase in visitor volume here in Clark County. Uh, we're also seeing an increase in the number of people coming through the airport. And we're seeing an increase in gaming expenditures. Well, I would expect that gaming uh, employment or hospitality employment will probably stabilize by the first half of next year. The Southern Nevada economy at this time is much more dependent on the national economy taking off than it has been any time in its recent past. And so therefore, what happens at the national level is really important at this point in time for the Southern Nevada economy. We're not going to see a resurgence in home building to bring us out of this weakness in Southern Nevada. We aren't going to see diversification in other industries happen rapidly. So the only thing that really can bring us back at this point in time is tourism and gaming. And for that, we're really dependent upon what's going on in the rest of the country. Well, diversification isn't something that happens quickly. It's actually something that mostly happens on its own. So the main thing for uh, people in Clark County to do and for the government to do is to allow the diversification to take place and to uh, structure their advertising campaigns outside of the region in such a way to promote diversification. Uh, the history of people picking the industries that which an economy ought to select to diversify is not very good. One of the things that seems to be a characteristic of the 21st century is that most of the growth is in industries that have people that are very educated. So here in Southern Nevada, we need to become a center of educational attainment and educational excellence. Well, as I start thinking about kind of the positive things that we can see in this current recession, I sort of see two things. One, there are entrepreneurs out there who are developing things that we don't know about yet. And some of those entrepreneurs are going to recreate the future for us in ways that we don't know and will probably be very profitable for the region. Secondly, housing prices here prior to the recession and prior to the bursting of the bubble were above the national average. And now they're actually below the national average. That means that Southern Nevada is an attractive place to move, an, attack, an attractive place to move and start new businesses. So what seems to be a disadvantage right now could very much become an advantage as the U.S. economy continues in its recovery.